Picture this. We are at Dematakota Khan. Two people on board a pontoon are punting down. One of them takes his long skimmer, dips it inside the water, and pulls out a stinking sludge covered plastic school bag. His next dip unearths or unwaters a deflated football. Outcome a toilet brush, a toothbrush, a pair of slippers, plastic bottles, beer cans. You get the picture. And by the point, if he had pulled out a dead body, we would not have been surprised. Uh, have you ever seen this happen? Over the past six months, I have seen a variation of this scene there in multiple locations in and around Colombo. This is what Colombo Channel cleaners do. They fish out 20,000 kilograms of trash every single day. That's 5 million kilograms of trash per year. And if you want to picture this, that's roughly 5,000 small lorry containers. And this is just what gets collected. At least twice as much waste does not get collected. Most of it sinks to the canal bed, aggravating water pollution, uh, the risk of flooding, the spread of disease, the rest gets washed into the ocean, uh, killing marine life and endangering the lives of our already fragile coastal communities. So as our final year research project at the university, three of us worked on building an autonomous aqua drone, which scavenges for waste in waterways using computer vision. So you demarcate a target search area within which the drone then conducts its own search and collect operation using the camera and comes back to the starting position once the drone is full or the pin is full. For many people, this is where their promising, adventurous, impressive university project went. But we wanted to come back to it and see if we could do something more useful with it. So at the beginning of this year, uh, me and my partner, Janagan, who's here, after a year of working elsewhere, we quit our jobs. Uh, we pooled money from friends, family, and whatever meager savings that we had, and jumped full time on. At the time that we started, uh, the biggest technical challenge to overcome for commercialization, at least in our heads, was you know improving the camera-based detection of floating debris on water surface. How do we make it more robust? How do we make it more reliable? Uh, so sometime in February, we met with the Sri Lanka Drainage Corporation, which is the public authority in charge of keeping Colombo's canals clean and maintaining them. And we said, hey, look, uh, we have this uh, fantastic new thing. We'll demo it for you. Uh, unfortunately, on that day, things did not go to plan. Uh, the sheer amount of waste that is in the canals meant that the propellers got stuck. And once the collection was made, disposing of it was quite messy. And to be frank, it was mildly embarrassing. Uh, so we went back to the drawing board. And we started studying the problem a lot more thoroughly. So we visited the cleaning sites. We spoke to the drainage population engineers, the canal cleaners, the communities that live next to the canals and thoroughly reviewed existing alternatives. And we came to the conclusion that self-driving tech, self-driving software is great when you have a car to start with. Uh, and there isn't a car in this space, at least not one that is even remotely close to our requirements. So the first challenge is to actually design and build from the ground up a an effective trash skimming device. We also understood that rolling out or launching a fully autonomous solution that is safe, reliable, and regulation compliant will necessarily take time and money because the setting is unstructured and there's a long tail of probabilities that arise. 
So we recalibrated our priorities and we said, okay, let's just focus on building a machine first, a machine that does the job, which is collecting and disposing uh, of floating debris effectively and also in a safe way. Uh, so we iterated through a number of concepts, built skeletal models, tested them out. Some of them didn't work, uh, but we made steady progress and converged on this design. And today we are close to completing the final engineering detailing on what we think of uh, what is probably the world's first heavy duty all electric trash cleaning device. So our current plan is to launch as a human operated device and then roll out autonomy in stages over the next two to three years. So why would, would anybody pay for this tech, right? Uh, so if you take Colombo as a reference case, currently the government spends 200 million rupees, employs 400 to 500 people just to take trash out of our canals. But our canals are still dirty, they still stink. 30 of our drones and 30 operators can do the same job at an operational cost of 20 million. So that's a flat 90% reduction in operational cost of waterway maintenance, right? But more so than the mere cleaning, we will be able to measure exactly how much waste gets collected every day, uh, identify the sources, track waste aggregation trends over time, and since we build in a bunch of sensors, be able to monitor water quality parameters like pH level, salinity, temperature, and so on continuously and in real time. So that is a fundamentally new or a fundamentally new paradigm of managing and cleaning our waterways, right? Today, we are a team of five people. Uh, three of us are full-time. Two are part-time, uh, no one is getting paid, but things are getting better. Uh, we got partly funded this week uh, through a government grant. More money is coming in next month. And we are entering what is the most exciting phase of our journey so far, which is the actual building of the product. And we are on track to completing uh, the manufacturing process and launching a trial with the Drainage Corporation December this year. Uh, so the plan is to first do this in a one kilometer stretch in the Demetakura Canal, do it for about two months, and then take our learnings, iterate the design, uh, then roll out across Colombo over the next uh, year, provided there's, of course, sustained government support and interest. Uh, so in terms of what we do with the collected waste itself, uh, the current plan is to plug into the existing disposal ecosystem because the trash that gets collected is extremely dirty and infected, so there's no question of recycling. But we are constantly thinking about what more we can do on this. Now, it is customary for speakers at events like this to proclaim uh, that they have this idea X that solves global problem Y. Right? So typically, now is the time that I tell you our drones will end water pollution. But I am here to tell you, they will not. Okay. Uh, because water pollution is an extremely complex problem. And complex problems require multifaceted and multiple interventions, necessarily, naturally. Right? That's why they are complex. So for example, why are the canals in Colombo North much more severely polluted than the canals in, say, Rajagiri? What's different about the communities that live next to the canals in Demakagoda as opposed to those that live next to uh, the canals in residential Rajagiri? So there are social and economic considerations. So it's going to take educators, policymakers, public health officers, recyclers, and many more people to fix this mess. We need politicians who actually care about the environment, not just when they become political problems. Uh, like Vilpatu. Uh, we need corporate leaders who don't push sustainability just as a business trip. We need industries that actively discourage overconsumption. We need scientists to discover alternative material and discover them fast. 
So no matter where you are in life right now, whatever you are doing, whatever you are pursuing, you have a role in fixing pollution. And I don't mean this at the level of refusing plastic bags at the supermarket. You can contribute in far more constructive and concrete ways. As designers and engineers, we see ourselves as playing a very specific role, which is designing and building better tools for managing and cleaning our bodies. An essential component of the solution, but not the end of the story. The ideal world is not one in which we build more and more of our cleaning zones, but the one in which they become redundant. Thank you.